Hello, racing fans. This is the Turfway Park Report for day 37 of the Winter Spring Meeting, Saturday, March 21st, 2020. Eight races on the program. The poly track is fast. Temperature at first post is 35 degrees. We kick things off with a mated Philly Mare 15 to 10 claimer to go six and a half furlongs in the opener. Field of 10, the favorite is drawn to the outside. That's number 10, Lion Eyes with leading jockey Alvin Jimenez. And they are off. Quick start for Lion Eyes. Magic credit for Gennaro Garcia reaching out off the layoff and also displaying speed surprise arrival and through from the inside Island Betty. So out of the shoot and up the backside they go. Long shot leader Magic Credit. Trying to work her way over to the rail as Island Betty trying to squeeze on through, but that hole is shut now. Magic Credit with the lead. Lion Eyes the favorite to the outside in second. Three wide Blackberry Lisa as they continue to run up the backside. Then comes uh, through from between horses, both Union Song and Nova Mas as they continue to race up the backside. Already tappens in about the sixth path, four in front to surprise arrival on a new of the New York Invaders being churned upon and still seven or eight back to long shot Smashville. The quarter was 23 seconds flat. Now Lion Eyes takes over the lead from Magic Credit. Three wide. Here comes already tap in. In between horses, it's Blackberry Lisa. Meanwhile, Union Song is full of runs. She's going to try to come underneath Lion Eyes as she floats off the rail. And as they arrive at the top of the lane, it's Lion Eyes and Alvin Jimenez. Here's already tapping in Gerardo Corrales. Now up the inside, Union Song and Figueroa with a furlong to go. Lion Eyes is the leader. Up on the outside, already tapping on the inside, Union Song. Late on the scene, Onula finally got on track, but it was Way too late. Lion Eyes delivers as the 7 to 5 favorite. Breaks Maiden here in start number 13. Photograph for second. Anula to the outside of Union Song. And then the gray already tapping was fourth in 117 and four. And it was the favorite. Bet down to 7 to 5 and delivers here. Lion Eyes for Helen Alexander and Lucy Young Hamilton. Breaks her maiden in her 13th career start. Well pre prepared by trainer Ben Colebrook and Albert Jimenez. The Winning jockey, the favorite, 483, 2280. Second number five, Anula. Third to three, Union Song. Fourth was the eight already tapping. Exact 25, 20. Try 83, 90. Super 931, 20. Tonight's second race, a Philly Mare two and six months claiming event to travel three quarters of a mile. The favorite has drawn the fence at this six for a long distance. That's number one. Dreams are possible for trainer Sipi Contreras. They are racing. Good even beginning for all from between horses. It is rule like Cleopatra who's hustled out, but there goes head first and from the rail draw dreams are passable. So as they head up the backside, dreams are passable to the inside of head first. There's a break of uh, three links back to chase and by who races to the inside of rule like Cleopatra. Advancing out wide is Hoppestry down along the inside. Lucky at just as two links for the back to Liner and chasing by. Still six or seven. Back to Edge or Pleasure and Butch of Daisies is out on about the seven path and is last. Three furlongs from home. The quarter 22 and one. Dreams are passable. Shows the way. Here comes a three wide bid from Rule Like Cleopatra. From between horses chasing by. Meanwhile, Lucky at Justice trying to sneak through along the fence as they continue to race around the turn. But the bug boy Joseph Ramos riding confidently on Dreams Are Passable as they arrive to the top of the lane with a three-link cushion. They floated off the rail and left it open for Lucky at Justice, who's coming on through outside the furlong marker. So Lucky at Justice scrapes the paint. Now Dreams Are Possible set down by the bug boy outside the 16th pole and late on the scene. Baronet, many chances inside the final 50 yards. Lucky at Justice got through along the fence at the top of the lane and that was the winning move. Lucky at Justice and Figueroa win. Dreams are passable was next and came up Baronet and rule like Cleopatra in 111 flat. And give it to number seven, Lucky at Justice, who sneaks through along the fence, turning for home, and Lucky at Justice gets up to prevail for owner Hugo Andrade, train Ron Kales, and jockey Harry Burko Figueroa. Lucky at Justice, $6, 360, 260. Second, number one, Dreams Are Possible. Third to six, Baronet. Finishing fourth, number eight, Rue Light Cleopatra. The winning exact, 22-20. Try, 53-10. The Daily Double, 31-40. Superfecta, 265-40. Move on to tonight's third race. A starter allowance to travel five furlongs. Take out the six, 11, and 13. Favorite number one, Statesboro, has drawn the fence, but the newcomer, number five, Delatante, one to watch for trainer Randy Clock. And they are racing. Awkward beginning for No Lemon, No Lime, but it was a fast start for Tree Top Fire. Up on the outside, Tommy Tom jumped well from between horses. Squadron Commander Statesboro is off the pace today. Fourth and about three off the leaders. 
Dilettante, the Tampa starter winner, is fifth and about four off the pace. Then three links for the back as they hit in the turn to No Limit, No Lime, uh, Shortly, and Christmas Cookie up the fence. Now Hickory Hills on the move, second last, still chief at the back of the pack. Quarter 22 and one. There goes Tommy Tom with a three-wide bid. Squadron Commander's going to cut to corner. Meanwhile, Dilettante has kicked it into gear, but he has four links to raise as they run to the top of the stretch. Squadron Commander cut to corner. Here's Tommy Tom to the outside. Now Dilettante is set down by Malcolm and is coming at him and coming on outside the 16th pole. Here's Dilettante for Hoover and Jonesy, but Hickory Hill is rolling down the center. Hickory Hill up in time. Hickory Hill wins by a link going away. Dilettante was second a photo for third in 57 and three number four hickory hill was last up the backside but first at the wire came storming down the center of the track to get up to win at 25 to one hickory hill first off the claim here owned and trained by olivo anirio and ridden to victory by apprentice joe ramos hickory hill 52 dollars 15 20 660 second number five de la tante third the 10 squadron commander finishing fourth was the 12 tommy tom the winning exacta in race number four was four and five, and that exacta came back 281.80. The trifecta, 663.40. The double, 98.60. Dime super, 904.71. 50 cent pick three, $187.85. Running time was 57 and three. Tonight's fourth race, made in Philly three, 15 to 10 claimers to go a mile, field of 12. Morning line favorite number eight, dreaming of money. We're trainer Steve Lister. Waverly Sunset now being attacked by What a Rocket. These two match strides past the half mile pole and they're three lengths clear of Busby Spring and Enthroned. Neva still tracking from fifth. Now the grade. Dreaming of Money is on the move. She's raced up into six and at six to five, she has seven lengths to raise as a half mile was rolled out 47 and three. Round in the turn, 5 sixteenths from home. Uh, it is What a Rocket in Waverly Sunset. Meanwhile, in Throne, poised to pounce from third. Uh, Busby String is fourth. Dreaming of Money, the gray has been put to the whip from fifth as they round the turn to the top of the home stretch. And Waverly Sunset back for more. Whip comes out on What a Rocket, but here's Rodney with in Throne, who's set down for the drive to the outside. Uh, and Dreaming of Money, the favorite, is probing up the fence. Four across the course outside the 16th pole. And in Throne coming down the center of the track. The gray Dreaming of Money, the favorite. Favorite got through along the fence in the six to five shot. Dreaming of money forging to the front. Dreaming of money wins by a length in the end. And thrown was second. What a rocket third. Then came Waverly Sunset. And from the clowns, phone booking it was fifth. And give it to the favorite number eight, Dreaming of Money, who rolls off the pace up the inside to break her maiden on the class drop for owner breeders Gryphon Investments in this angry Al Investments, trained by Steve Blister, Johnny McKee up top. Four forty, three dollars two forty on the winner. Second number four in throne. Third to six. What a rocket! Fourth was the five Waverly Sunset. The exact of twenty three twenty. Trifecta one hundred fifty seven forty. Daily double eighty seven eighty. The super two thousand four hundred five twenty. The pick three one hundred four dollars thirty five cents. Running time one thirty nine and three. Tonight's fifth race starts the late pick four. It's a Philly and Mare Open 12-5. Claimer to go a mile. Scratch the 10 and 13. The favorite is drawn the fence. Pure Sugar first off the claim here for owner trainer Ralph Martinez. The Incidentally Way is third. Vortices to the outside. Fourth, Momentum Cats fifth. And two for the back to Caddy Chris. Now on the move, there goes Fashion Envy, the big long shot. And no interest is going to have to try to pick her way through the pack. And now Flirty is launching from the backfield. Here comes Flirty, the great daughter of Uncle Mo. She's closing in, but she's going to go in about the four path. And it's going to be even wider at that as they get to the quarter pole. But here comes Momenta Cat, the big long shot up to the outside as Pure Sugar will cut the corner. So Pure Sugar will whip them in. Momenta Cat to the outside, up the inside. Here comes Caddy Chris and down the center of the track. Flirty is continuing to gain ground and Flirty coming after Pure Sugar and Momenta Cat. It's still Pure Sugar, but Flirty has momentum up to the outside. Pure Sugar to the inside and Flirty in a perfectly timed ride by Sammy gets up right on the square to win by just about a half a length. Pure Sugar fought on well to be second. Momenta Cat was third and Caddy Chris checked in fourth. And number nine of Flirty rallied from far back to get up to win with a big sustained bid on the far outside to give owner trainer Olivo Inirio his second victory on the night. This one written by Sammy Bermudez. Flirty 980, 440, 280. 
Second number one, Pure Sugar. Third number 12, Momenta Cat. Finishing of fourth was the two, Caddy Chris. Exact to 4820, try 287 even. The double 1820, pick three, 16640. The pick four, $850.25. Pick five, one thousand six hundred seven forty. The super three thousand one hundred fifty-seven dollars and forty cents. Running time was one thirty-eight and two. Tonight's sixth race, eight Philly and Mare non two thirty to twenty claimer to go a mile. Scratch numbers three and eight. The favorite on the morning line, number five at Winya Bay at odds of nine to five for Gatewood Bell's Hat Creek Racing. In a cinder. Shows the way by just about a neck from between horses now. Stylish Kitten trying to catch that hole and move before they hit the turn. And Baytown Vivi is going to be shuffled back to third. Winya Bay has moved to closer fourth. Then comes She's Hot today in fifth. Be with us to the outside, closing in the gold silk. Still six back to Lake Barkley at the back of the pack, rounding the turn. Uh, here comes Be With Us with a four wide bid. Uh, and Be With Us at 27 to 1 uh, comes calling for the lead with a quarter mile to go. Uh, she's out and about the four path up the fence. Comes Stylish Kitten. Then comes the She's Hot today as they straighten away to the top of the home stretch. It's Be With Us, but Stylish Kitten up the fence. Now, Winya Bay has found her feet. She's coming at him and coming on with a 16th to go. It's Be With Us still there. Stylish Kitten is second. Winya Bay racing up in between those two as they race down towards the line. Be with us at 27-1 to wins. Stylish Kitten was second. Winya Bay third. She's hot today. Was fourth. Number nine, Be With Us with a big wide bid gets the job done. She comes in from uh, Charlestown and lights up the tote board at 27-1. to Be With Us, a daughter Hampton Court, owned by McEntee, Akana Farms, and a Mark and a Lenora Traxel. The winning trainer, Paul McEntee, apprentice Joshua Morales, up top, $57.16.6640 on the winner. Finishing second, number two, Stylish Kitten. Third, number five, Linya Bay. And fourth was number six, She's Hot Today, exact to 277.20. The dollar try, 434.30. The daily double, 28.60. The super, $1,388.80. The pick three, $223.15. Tonight's seventh race, a two other than optional $40,000 claimant event to go six furlongs. Scratch numbers 12 and 14. The favorite, number 11, hint, hint, hooray for trainer Bobby Klein. And they are racing. Awkward start for Jersey Agenda. It was a fast one for Unmoored. Now, uh, Jersey Agenda has recovered and sending up the inside. So there goes Jersey Agenda and the Fipke Silks. Now we'll dictate the terms from Unmoored. Better watch out off the gate in third. Uh, advancing up to the outside is Land Battle from Between Horses. Infinite, Capture the Glory. Now Better Watch Out has been shuffled back to six. Out in the clear as they continue to run up the backside, it's Rocket Joe Cooper. Manford is in behind horses now, launching from the backfield. Red Silks of Strong Yen is closing in as they race around the turn after a quarter and 22 and one. Unmoored just from Land Battle. A three-wide Rocket Joe Cooper from between horses. Better watch out. That's all for Jersey Agenda. And Strong Yen starts to close in the half mile on fast 44 and four. Here comes Land Battle. Up and after the lead. Unmoored back into second. Late on the scene down the center. Strong Yen and also finishing with interest from between horses as they have a furlong to go is Capture the Glory. But with the 16th to go, Land Battle is home. Land battle wins by just about three in the end. Hemp Hemp Array rallied from far back to get up in a photo there for a second. That included Better Watch Out and Strong In. The running time fast, 109 and two. Number nine, Land Battle with a confident, patient ride by Rodney Prescott. He squeezed on this horse just outside the quarter pole and set down for the drive. And Land Battle wins here for the Willowbrook Stables Limited of David Neiman in partnership with Jerry Carden. The winner trained by Kim Hammond and Rodney Prescott up top for Land Battle's seventh lifetime victory. The winner, 1588-4480, second number 11, Hemp Hemp Hooray. Third was number two, Better Watch Out, and fourth was the 10, Strong Yen. Exact to $90.40, the dollar try, $268.90. The daily double, $684.40, the pick three, $475.90, Superfecta, $2,655.40. Running time was $109. And two. Tonight's eighth and final, a maiden five claim to sprint five furlongs, scratch number six and 12. The favorite on the morning line at even money, number 10, zip away. A son of city zip on the class drop for leading trainer Wesley Ward. At the post. And they are racing.
Awkward start for Hey Hey and Zone Town Boy. It was a fast one, though, for Sunshine Pegasus. Meanwhile, there goes Zip Away, the favorite, up and after the lead. And just like that, Zip Away has cleared off by two lengths into the far turn run. Sunshine Pegasus away in second. Up on the outside, Button Box is third. Bourbon Bryce to the inside, fourth. Stone Town Boy is two in front of uh, Post Impressionist as they race around the turn. Uh, then comes a Hey Hey, four links for the back to Paul Brown as they race around the turn. It's Zip Away and a confident Angel Serper will whip them in two to the good. Sunshine Pegasus and Button Boxer second and third. Up the inside, Bourbon Bice, Post and Precious down the stand side. Dice Man, one furlong to go. Zip Away still there. Button Box looking to blow up the tow board to the outside with a 60 to go. Zip Away is going to break Maiden today. Zip away off the layoff is going to break Maiden. Start number two reeled in in the end. One by about two. Button box was second. Post impression is third. Bourbon Bryce was fourth. And a running time for the winner 58 and one. Zip away breaks Maiden here. And number 10, Zip away. Gate to wire under wraps here for Featry Hay and Wesley Ward. Angel Serpa up top. Zip away on the class drop breaks Maiden. Returns $3, $3, 220. Second number three, Button Box. Third number two, Post and Press it is. Finishing fourth number one, Bourbon Bryce. And fifth, the nine, Stone Town Boy. Exact to 2560, try 3910. The double 2240, the pick for $1,165 and 35 cents. The $2 super, $525 even. The pick three, 179.90. High five, 2,164.90. No winners in the single six. That carries over $3,953. Well, race fans, that wraps up live racing for this Saturday from Turfway Park. From all of us here at the track, thanks for tuning in. This has been the Turfway Park Report.